Voy a igualar. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Almost ready. Almost ready. Almost ready. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, Escobar. How, how do you feel today, sir? Ready. Ready, ready. Okay, yes. okay. I know maybe some of you are a kind of uh, worried because we are going to finish until the next week. But I don't know in the previous, uh, at the moment that uh, they explain you, I know that they told you that in this level, we need to work uh, five weeks. Generalmente los niveles de intermedio ya llevan más tiempo, por eso los temas eh, son como ya más amplios, ¿no? Pero tranquilos, ya es poco lo que nos falta. Teacher, ¿y cuándo comienza el otro? ¿Qué fecha no, más o menos? No hay día, no hay día. No hay día. Ay, no hay ojalá día. que no. Que no me choque con algo, si no voy a tener que. <risas> no tengo idea. Nosotros. Uh... Casi siempre dos semanas, Damba, algo así. Sí. Nosotros vamos a. Uh... Hasta. Déjenme ver si hoy sería la clase número. Let me see the number of the class. Ahora sería la 21. 21. Yes, today is the 21. That means that we are missing only yes. Nos hacen falta entonces. Déjeme ver por aquí. Para tener ya una idea. Toda la unidad 4. Yes. Okay, 21. Let me see. La 22 sería mañana. La 23 sería el lunes. La 24 is going to be Tuesday and we are going to finish on Wednesday. Okay, el día miércoles. Bien Friday, teacher. Hola. Bien Friday no sería ni Ah, le, 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 let me see. Yes, girl, it is. Ah, we had two more days. Yes, I, Pero I was. Pero falta una porque vamos a reponer, creo. Sí, no, pues esa es la que va incluida. Yes. Esa es la que va incluida. Ok, déjeme mirar. Uh, tenemos la 21 hoy. Ok, día jueves hacemos la 22. Día viernes hacemos la 23. Día lunes hacemos la 24 y el martes hacemos la 25. Ahí está. Ahí ya hemos repuesto la que... Eh, Por el día que tuve el problema de la electricidad. Ok, teacher. Así es que el martes preparados. Hacemos la despedida. La vamos a hacer de traje. ¿Qué vamos a traer? Ah, ahí está. Ya veremos qué, qué es lo que vamos a traer. Ya les estaba poniendo un día más. Pero I forgot that uh, today is Wednesday. 
Sí, salimos bien, así que ya, take it easy, take it easy. I know sometimes it's really hard to be working and at the same time being studying, but you need to keep uh, an eye in your walls. Debemos de mantener eh, siempre un ojo sobre nuestro objetivo. But it's going to be difficult, of course. No le estamos oyendo si alguien está hablando. Sí, se me escucha. No, se oyó entrecortado. Sí, María. Maybe. María Concepción. Gracias. Okay. Yo creo que ya entró, pero no creo que le funcione. <risa> ok. Es que no me escucha, yo sí como... Dijo que la otra semana terminábamos. Teacher, no se le escucha. Sí, Michael. la otra semana, el martes. Ah, ok, gracias. Hello, hello, I'm here. Teacher ah. María Concepción le dijo de que iba a estar de oyente un momento mientras llegaba a la casa, me parece. Ok, sí, el problema es que se, tuve una desconexión de... de del internet, no sé por qué eh, la señal me marca al 100%, pero de repente comencé a ver distorsionado y se, vi como que se me cortó. Sí, así se escuchaba, cortado. Ah, ok. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No bueno. problem. Okay, I'm, I'm still waiting for the rest in order to tell them, uh, to tell to all of you when we are going to finish. Para decirle realmente cuando finalizamos para que no se me estén preocupando porque algunos ya les vi ahí las caritas de, de words. Entonces, tranquilo, ya es poco lo que falta. Sí. Luego, dos semanas para reponer energía, dormir temprano, eh, hacer diferentes actividades that you used to do. You are going to have the time to go to the disco and enjoy and relax and do everything that you want to do. If you want to go to the cinema, you can go to and different, different kinds of activities that you used to do. Teacher, en teoría terminamos entonces el primero. Yes. Ok. Sí, terminaríamos ahí porque acuérdese que... Eh, sí, tenemos una pendiente. Sí, eh, fue por, porque no había energía en este lugar. Está y por, bien. Y por eso, así es que... Bueno, me disculpo porque la verdad es que, aunque la culpa no fue mía, sino de la compañía... No, teacher, no hay problema. Sí, eso, eso pasa. Yes, Oscar. Pero al final, pues, aparenta como que si es uno el que, el que, el que dice, no, no voy a dar la clase. Si yo, si yo hubiese podido haber dado la clase ese día, lógico la hubiese dado porque hubiésemos terminado más temprano. But accident happened and... And talking about that, today we are going to talk about accidents. Passer. Oh, okie dokie, let me see, we got 15. Okay, we are going to start now. Así es que tranquilo, ya, ya va a pasar. 
el 29 vamos a descansar. <risa> el 29. <risa> y el, el 30 y el 31. Ah, ok, ok. Excelente, me gusta. Tienen libres desde el 29 al 31. Ok. <coughs> y ahí vamos avanzando. Accident happened, you know. Teacher, dice Brian Javier que no, que no va a conectarse porque no se siente bien de salud este día, pero que tal vez, pero que si sigue mejor mañana si se conecta. Ok. You already know my recommendation, right? Ya ustedes saben mi recomendación, ¿cierto? Hello? Say yes? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> I already told you. Yo ya les dije. Okay, asistencia in here. Ah, we got 17, okay. Okay, let me see. We have Ana Beatriz, Saida, Present. Diego, Wendy, Carlos, Laura, Lilian, Yesenia, Jose Jonathan, Claudia. Claudia Raquel is there. I'm just watching your cameras. Carlos Alberto, Jenny Suleyma is there too. Elizabeth Martinez, I don't see the camera on. Maria Concepcion, Galileo is there. Maria Elena and Mayra Peraliz. Okay, I'm going to check out the attendance now because it's really important to do it, okay. Okay, here we go. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Eh, Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Bautista. Present teacher. Is there, Bautista is there too. Eh, Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Present teacher. Okay, Galileo. Present, sir. Okay, Jonathan. Present. Rodrigo. Rodrigo Hernández. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. María Elena, just say present, only that, say present. María yes. Elena. Yes. Ahí está, ahí está. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. 
Hoy sí aprendí a decir veralice. Sí, porque como me he acostumbrado que en inglés todas las palabras que terminan así con e eh, no las pronuncio, entonces yo puedo decir veralice. Zaira. Es en teacher. Misael. Misael. It's not here. Okay. Wendy. Present teacher. Wendy is there too. Jenny. Present teacher. Eh, Yesenia Lisa. Present teacher. Eh, Diego. Diego. Present teacher. Eh, Brian, Javier. Brian is the one that is sick. Okay. Yes. Okay. But you know the rule, how it's going to be this, okay? You already know the rules. Okay. Before to start talking about the new topic for today, I would like to ask you a question related with the topic. Have you ever had an accident in your job? No, teacher. No? No. Okay, no. Diego say no. Somebody else? No, mister. Okay. What about the rest? Galileo? Yes, I did, sir. Oh, could you share the experience with us? Yeah. I usually I wear uh, shoes, um, industrial shoes. Okay, okay. I got it. So, so I, I feel. Uh, safety in my place, my workplace. Okay. But one Friday, I was wearing tennis. Oh, okay. So in the plant, there are a place where, it, where, are, where there are a wet floor. Oh, okay, wet floor. So, I don't, I don't saw that. And the sign. I'm sorry. You didn't saw the, the design that, that that they usually put there in yellow, right? Yeah, I I don't saw that, and I fall in the floor. Uh, thanks God, I I don't. I don't be hard in my body. Okay. But I feel hard. Sentido uh, dolor. I don't remember what I can say. The Lord. Pain? Pain? I, I, yes. I felt pain in my body because I fall totally in no floor. But okay. I don't, I don't. I don't feel any hair, heart. Okay. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay, dokie. Somebody else want to share an experience? No, no accident, no accidents. Okay, nice. Accident. And my job, I have um, two accidents and motorcycle. And when I bought my job, and on oh. uh, one accident mark, and with my family, oh, okay. and a pickup. But, so, but what? But that that happened uh, on the street, right? 
Can you switch it? Now inside your job? No. Ah, okay. Okay. But in if when you go to job, they 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 and in diagnostico, no sé, cuando mandan la boleta, eh, así ponen accidente de trabajo. Cuando usted va, si usted dice yo iba al trabajo, así lo ponen ya como accidente de trabajo, aunque no fuera dentro del trabajo. Ah, ok. Ok, I, 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 got, I got you, I got you. But in this case, we are going to talk about accidents inside the play we were. And Claudia knows a lot about this topic because uh, the speciality of, uh, of her has to do with this kind of scenes, I guess, because I've been reading something about that. Okay, I'm going to show you something here in order that you can get an, an idea about what I'm talking about. And we are going to start talking about the topic. Okay, let me see where it is. Okay, I got it here. Here we go. My goodness, I got a mistake there. Let me see, and we need to check up. We need to fix the number that is 21 here too. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Here we go. Okay. Today we are going to talk about conference number 21, assessing risk vocabulary. What comes to your mind when you see this word as assessing risk vocabulary? ¿Qué es lo que llega a su mente cuando, when, at the moment that you see the topic? Tell me. This, this point, teacher, is of security. Uh, is uh, evaluación de riesgos. Uh, ah. Estudio, análisis de riesgos. Uh, in the enterprise when I work, they are a, a department. There is a department, okay. They focus in, in all the risk uh, for the health, for, for the, to prevent accidents. Ah, okay, to prevent, excellent. Okay, thank you. What do you see in these pictures? What do you see there? These label teacher are using in the warehouse uh, for it to identify uh, the chemical product. Maybe it's using in the truck for the transport of dangerous uh, product. Uh, I work in the in for export department, I have a love of, of these labels for putting the stock when the product is translated to one place or other. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Okay, you got plenty of ideas about that. I know that you know. That is what I told you last time. Okay, let us start now. We have the first question. Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Let us uh, focus only just in the first question. Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? And the second one said, what do you think it means? But first, I need that you answer the number one. Have you heard the term risk assessment? Ya Carlos Alberto les dio una idea y les dijo en español the meaning. But I need that you tell me in your own words. 
I consider that most of the company uh, have it. I guess it's mandatory. Yeah. The World Minister, they, they check up that, that kind of situation. And if you don't have it, uh, they, you need to pay uh, something, an amount of money, because you need to protect everybody in your job. All the panel, the kind of job that you are going to perform sometime. Um, well, I remember when I used to work in, uh, in another country, I used I have to use a helmet, glasses, glow, and a special um, air glue. Yes. Okay, tell me, what do you know about that? Based on your experience that you have, because I know that you have a good experience. Sir. Tell me, Galileo. There are a low. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, from 2010 until, until today, uh, it's applied in or, or must be applied for every uh, company in this country. Okay. Yeah, it, there are regulations about this law. Uh, that is, I know about it. Okay. I remember that I saw uh, in television, um, let me see, one year, uh, no, one month ago, I guess, something that happened in, in, the, in San Salvador, in the downtown area. Do you remember that? Mm. No? No, sir, I don't remember. No, I don't. Más creo yes, que fue, fue quizás más, hace más de un mes un accidente que pasó en una empresa en San Salvador que uh, estaban como en una segunda planta que no tenían asegurados eh, eh, lo, los andamios. Los andamios. Yeah. I, I remember the, in the building that front eh, galería Ah, okay. Uh, two people, uh, Callejo, I don't know. Pull down. What? Pull uh, down. Fall down. They yeah, fell down. He did because they are very in, in a floor, very high. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. I, wow. I guess that was about one year, I think. Mm, uh, I don't remember exactly today, but. Yeah, two, two people get down uh, from uh, a really dangerous height. I don't remember what floor was, but one of them was killed or, or was, died um, in this action. Okay. But going, going back again to the question, what can you tell me about it? Talking about the fair question, have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Just tell me yes, no. Uh, and what do you think it means? Repeat it, repeat it. But I'm asking you the fair question. Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? And what do you think it means? Yes, I have, teacher. And sampling risk, uh, for me, uh, I think use for identify dash that have dangerous dash. 
Okay, it helps us to identify and we can, uh, if we, if we don't follow the rules, we can have problems, something like Galileo said, right? Okay, what else? I, I, I think every company in every workplace have risk in every place. Yes. So um, every manager, every department manager must to see uh, every risk and must to prevent to that risk don't be a serious problem. Yes, it is. Okay, let us continue then. I know the hello. I um do remember in in my work every year um in um assembly of all workers as a committee is selected for for this for evaluate risk and oh, okay. identify uh, I don't know, potential danger for the health for the salud. Okay. The Minister of Health has to take care about that, okay? Uh -huh. the... Okay, and the last question say, what should the organization design and be trained to apply one? Why should the organization design and be trained to apply one? Okay, I think that the all organization must be uh planning for the uh, prevent risk okay uh, the enterprise for example there is a committee of the health for fire for us evacuation uh, etc uh, but a lot of people in the enterprise working uh, for thousands of people and one or two thousand of people has training about a uh, different topic to prevent accident. Ah, okay, in order to avoid accident. That's nice, that's nice. Okay. Let us continue then. Okay, the second activity, two managers are discussing about recent hazard at different location in their company. Read their conversation and say to practice in it. The conversation is between Marcos and Josue. I invite you to read it first, and then I'm going to read it, and later you are going to practice. Okay, I'm going to start reading. Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measures is complete. Measure for electric shock or electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office? Safety, plum jet? Already, Marcos, now I work on the plan for reporting hazard and incidents. Great. 
I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay. Try to identify all the word that maybe you don't know and you don't know how to pronounce it, please. I'm going to give you two minutes in order that you can do that. And later on, I'm going to read it again. La palabra hazard, teacher. Con pronunciación. Hazard. 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 No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let me put the symbols. Hold on a second. Déjeme ponerle la simbología para que sea más fácil. Porque así nos va a ser más fácil. Okay, is there answer? Can you see it? Sure. Yes, teacher. Okay, hazard, hazard. Sure. Sure. What else? The next word, teacher, cipher-y. Which one? Dice como cipher-y. Next to hazard. hazard. This one? Yes. Okay, let me put the symbols. But the problem is that in order to put your symbol, I need to stop chatting because I have it in a different. We have two different uh, options how to pronounce it. That is the reason why you see two different way. The first one is American and the second, uh, second one is British. But you need to know both. You got it there. Safety, safety. According to the level, I guess it's better if I, I show you the symbols. 
yo creo que ya en este nivel es mejor mostrarle los símbolos y que ya comiencen a leerlos. Así se van acercando más ya a la pronunciación. De, that we are looking for. Ok, another word. Everything okay? Yes, okay. no problem at all. No problem. Okay. Okay, let us read again. I'm going to read again. Okay, let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure of electric shot for electric burn? Yeah. It is. Have you finished the first draft for the office? Safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I work on some ideas of controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, somebody wants to do it now before to go to the breakout room and you start practicing. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, okay, okay. The lady that sent me and and, and the next uh the man that say me too. Okay. Me Bautista. No. Lady and Galileo first. Okay. okay. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident probability, the potential severity risk value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Thank you. Thank you. Only a word that I need to put symbols about this word. Measures, measures. Measures, measures. Yes, but let me show you the symbols. Okay, you got it there, sir. Smasher. Okay, thank you, somebody else. 
Mi teacher Bautista? Okay, Bautista. Mi teacher Zaira. And Zaira, okay. Let us continue. Okay. I am Marco. Uh, let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shock for electric bar. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. No, I will work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. I want some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I will work on establishing the incident probability, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Thank you. Okay, uh, before to go to the breakout room, I would like to know if you have any questions so far from here. Just let me know. Antes de irnos al breakout room, me gustaría saber si tienen alguna pregunta sobre alguna palabra. And Saira, I guess, let me see, Jenny. Or Saira, I don't know. Uh, but right here is now. 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 Yeah, okay, now. 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 Okay, okay. let us practice. Break out the run. I got night in. And one is going to be three because uh, we don't have a. Uh, I need to have twenty in order to that we can do it uh, in in pairs. But let us do it this time in this way. Uh, and let me see how many how many minutes do you consider five minutes? It is enough for you. Five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Here we go. Let me let me be sure that all of you are there. Okay, I got it. Here we go. On the plan for Russell. Voy otra vez. Okay. Already, Marco. Now I work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Grace, I work on some ideas on controlling which because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential safety risk value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything reading bit in the end of the week. Okay, uh, Ana Beatriz. Yes, teacher. In the second part of Marcos, after son, the word is ideas. 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 Son ideas. Son ideas. Okay, much better. Okay. 
And let me see what else I heard. Potential, severity, risk value, risk level. And ready, everything ready. Well, everything ready. Ready, yes. Ready, all right. By the end of the week. By, By the, end. the end of the week. Okay, okay, continue working. Um, all right. Your Marco The office so be planned yet? Already, Marcos. Now I work on the plan for reporting itself and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident probability. Uh, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, okay. nice. Only the word value, value. Value. Risk value and risk level, okay. Risk and value, uh, value, uh, and risk uh, level. Hello, sir. What is the right uh, uh, pronunciation? Hazards. Is that yes. correct? Hazards. I, I show you the, the symbols. Uh -huh. I, I don't know if you saw it. Uh, I didn't write it down, but. That <laughs> I... Okay, but it's in that way. Hazard. Hazard, right? Hazard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hazard. 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 Yes. Hazard. Yes, Remember that uh, never uh, we pronounce the word at the same way that is written, right? At least we need to make a switch. Now a vocal curve. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, oh, well, let me continue. Okay, you can continue working on it. I'm going. Safety. 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 Que cuando les escribo los símbolos no los escriben, entonces se les no? se le... ah, no? entonces... Yo, 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 lo, yo lo tengo escrito, pero la yo solo le vi, o la solo le vi dos... que se hacen. ¿eh? No, so, so, solo léalo así como está. Safety. Sa safety. 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 Okay. Safety. 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 Yes. Y Hazard era Hazard. 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 Hazard, 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 Hazard,
I'm sorry, Escobar and Laura, I had to move to this side because the time was up. <laughs> yeah, it's hazard and safety. Okay. Pero por eso vamos a ser los primeros, teacher. Ah, okay, 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 like that. <laughs> a, petición de, a petición de Laura. Ah, okay, Laura. <laughs> That's good. Let's, let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Me measure for electric shock, for electric board. Yeah, it is have you finish, finish it at uh, the fresh draft for the office. Safety plan yet. I'm ready, Marcos. Now I work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling bridge because we haven't made much progress uh, on that. All right, then I work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Thank you. Thank you. Jenny and me, teacher, please. You are in mute, sir. I don't know what is happening. Okay, uh, I, I, I need to be sure that you don't, don't get confused with the word hazard, hazard. Okay, okay, continue, sir. Jenny, me, please. Jenny, you're Marcos, please. Marcos. Okay, let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now, I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk, value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Only the last word. Um, Jenny. One teacher. Let me see. Everything and then. The next, the next word that is uh, after everything. Everything. Uh, everything ready? Ready. By, ready. 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 Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Ya no se me olvida. Okay. <laughs> ready. Thank you. Ready. 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 I say ready. But also you can say ready, right? Ready. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? Me teacher, con Beatriz. Okay, okay. but it's going to be, okay. Let us do it and then I'm going to, to check out the, uh, the attendance. Okay, let me check if the list of health song and safety measure incomplete. Measure for electric shop, for electric bar, yet it isn't help you finish. The first round for the office safety plan yet. Already, Marcos. Now I work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. I work on some idea on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I work on establishing the incident probabilities the potential severity, risk, value, and risk level. That's some good. We want to have everything ready 
be the ends on the week. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let us check the attendance first. Revisemos la asistencia, por favor. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lile. Present. Bautista. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Galileo. Present. Jonathan. Present. Ah, is there Jonathan, is there. Eh, Jose Rodrigo. 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 Juan Carlos. Present teacher, present. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Beralice. Present teacher. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. And Brian Javier. Teacher, me, Carlos Bautista. Bautista. I'm here. I call you Bautista. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, somebody who wants to continue with the conversation, just let me know. Little baby's crying. He's asking for a meal. And a bit dark too. Careful with microphone. Okay, somebody else wants to um, continue with the conversation or not? Just tell me, I'm giving you the chance to do it, but it's up to you. Okay, you don't want to do it? Okay, let us continue. Or maybe my microphone is mute. No, it's, it's on mute. Okay, let us talk about the three question in activity number three. Pair word, discuss the following question with a classmate 
And we have the three question who has worked on the office safety plan. Number two, who worked on the plan to repair hazard and incident? And the number three say what is an area of the risk assessment process in which the manager haven't progressed much. Okay, you are going to discuss this answer with somebody else. Okay, let's go to do this. I need to recreate the groups because we got the same amount of people that we are going to recreate it in order that you have the chance to talk with somebody else, okay? But try to do it, try to speak. Remember, only just a few days in order that we finish this module. And then the number three is coming for you. Here we go. Teacher. Hola, 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 hola. Elizabeth creo que no está. Hmm, hmm. O oh, a saber. Mm -hmm. No dio señales de vida. Okay. That is the reason why I'm, I'm here. In order to be sure. Okay, what, what do you think about the first question? Who has worked on the office? Pues ahorita la estaba, la estaba medio respondiendo. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see if I can send you somebody out. Déjeme ver si le envío a alguien más entonces. Sí, ella creo que no está, o sabe. Se ha levantado, se durmió. We don't know. <laughs> okay, let me, let, 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 I'm going to leave.
Okay, question number one. Um, Claudia, could you read it? Only read it, please. Okay, who has worked on the office safety plan? Okay, and I need that. Let me see. Saira, do you have the answer? What question, teacher? Number one. Yes. Who are worker on the office safety plan? Marcos. Marcos. Teacher, I Marcos? think it's Josue. Oh, the first question. Yeah, talk about the first question. Okay, go back and check the conversation. It is Joshua, Jose has, Jose has. Okay, no problem, okay, no problem. Um, Mayra Beralice, could you read the second question, please? Yes, teacher. Who work on the plan to report hazard and incident? Okay, give me uh, the name of one of your classmates. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No? Why not? De una víctima o algo así. Yes, you have to choose your victim. No, teacher. Uh, bien, le voy a decir una. Quiero ver, veamos a las víctimas. Um, Wendy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wendy. De verdad voy a ser víctima porque no no alcanzamos a llegar casi ninguno. Solo la una y la dos. Yeah, but this is, the, this is the second one. Solo a uh, Marcos y la otra nos quedamos analizando. Yo creo que fue, ya no me acuerdo cuál de, habíamos decidido. No, uh, Sorry. Okay. You. Somebody wants to answer? Who work on the plan to report hazard and incident? Teacher, I think Josue again. Josue again, okay. Yes, teacher. Josue makes report hazard and incident. Okay, okay. I like that, I like that. He is very hard working. <laughs> okay. Mm, who wants to read the number three? Volunteer? Me teacher. Ya me dijo Mayrita que no quiere que estemos buscando víctimas, dijo. Oh, okay. What, what is a... Area of the risk as assessment process in which the manager haven't progressed much. Okay, the number three said, what is an area of the risk assessment process in which the manager haven't progressed much? Who wants to answer it? Maybe electric department. Electric department? Yes. Do you see that? Teacher, mm. I think controlling risk. The same teacher. Okay, you need to switch the words. Switch controlling. The now switch the word. Cambia las palabras. Control risk. Risk control. Risk control. Okay. Risk control. 
Okay, thank you. Let us continue then. Okay, we are going to continue working. In this one. Okay, now you can see it very there. Okay, build in the vocabulary. You are going to match this term related to training and personal development to their meaning. Should answer with a classmate. You are going to have time in order to do this. Don't worry about it. And later on, we are going to compare. And let me see the number of the page in your material in order that you can find it. I'm going to stop chatting and I need to see the material. Uh, let me see where's the number of the page that you're going to look at it. Let me see, let me see. It is number 34. Okay.
I don't know if you can see very well. I need to put the mouse on the, on this uh, symbol in order that you can see it. Risk hazard exposure safety measure irreversible is the word here. Irreversible. And this one is pre precautionary. I don't know why I, I can have it there. What about if I move it and I put it here? Let me see what's happened. No, I get chatter. I don't know why. At the moment that I move my mouse, get shutter, as you see. Okay, I'm sorry. I was trying to show you. Can erase her. No, it's not working. Okay. Just try to get uh, an idea about that, okay? Irreversible. Precautionary is this one. Consequent damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo. Aim to protect someone, something that a uh, hazardous situation. Procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Likelihood of harm in a specific circumstance. Lightheads. I'm protected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Maybe irreversible damage. Okay, we are going to wait in order that all of you can finish and then we're going to, to compare.
Okay, what about side are you sending out in the rest with the cameras? Remember that at the moment that Instafor uh, is going to check the video, we need to follow the rules, right? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yes, let me know at the moment that you finish. It is done, sir. Yes. Okay. Let us do now. Okay, we are going to compare. What do you have? And let us start talking now, please. Tell me. You can tell me. Hey teacher, the fridge. Consequence of damage that is so serious that is impossible impossible to handle is irre irreversible damage irre irreversible damage uh, irreversible 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 okay repeat irreversible irreversible okay number five damage you said it's number five at the, at, the, at the top, right? Yes, number five. Okay, let me put it here. Okay, what about the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, go, go ahead, sir. Uh, the second is, I'm uh, to protect someone or something from a hazardous situation. I think is a six precautionary. Okay, that's right. Next one, somebody else. Alguien más. The next one, please. Hey, me teacher. Procedure to prevent something dangerous or from happening is number four, safe, safety measure. Okay, bingo, number four. What about the next one? Likelihood. Likelihood. Hello, hello, hello. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey, teacher. Okay. Likelihood of harm in a specific circumstance, I think is the one risk. Yes, it is.
Next one. Unprotected. Unprotected. Unprotected for something dangerous or unpleasant. Uh, risk. No, hazard. Oh, tell us the number. Tell us the number, please. Number two, hazard. Do you agree? I think is three exposure. Ah, exposure. Number three. Okay. Why? Because when you expose, that means that you are not protected. And right here, say unprotected. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. And the last one? Hey, yeah, teacher. Okay. Potential to be dangerous and to cause harm is a number two, hazard. Is hazard, okay, number two. Number two. Is there now? You can make a picture if you want. We never know if suddenly you can find it in a one exercise in the platform. We never know. Any questions so far from here? No teacher for me, no. What about the rest? Condition of the mass. I got three out of six. Ah, three out of six. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay. It, the, the word like likelihood it's new for me likelihood likely likelihood 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 uh -huh. likelihood okay try try to keep it in mind likelihood and what's the meaning of that okay let us see the context well likelihood is a harm in a specific circumstances what 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 comes to your mind at the moment that you see the rest of the of, of the sentence? <clears throat> Tell me. <clears throat> it's like a disadvantage, something like that. Ah, okay, you got a uh, kind of idea. This word is like a probability, like a chance, like a possibility. The possibility to happen. Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah, the possibility of harm in a specific circumstance. That means there is a risk. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, likelihood. Can you give me an example using the word? In order to be sure that you are going to use it in the right way, right? So likelihood basically is like uh, you you say like a probability. Yes. Right? 
um, for example, uh, in likely, let's see, um, <coughs> the earthquake likelihood will damage the house, something like that. Am I right? Yeah, could be in that way. And likelihood, it's uh, it's it's an adverb. It is. Likelihood. It's a noun. Ah, no. Oh, okay. It is a noun. Ah, okay. Yeah. For example, maybe you can say when somebody gets COVID increase the likelihood of die. Teacher, I have an example. Okay, but you got the, my example, uh, Misa? Uh -huh. No, it's it's a little bit clear. It's okay. better. Okay, okay, continue, mister. Likelihood of fall down is high. Ah, okay, that is good. Okay, remember, in order that you increase your vocabulary, what you can do is, uh, for example, this word, likelihood is new for you, you can start creating sentences, and that way it's going to be easier that you can keep in mind. Cuando nos encontramos una palabra nueva, lo más fácil es ponerla dentro de una oración. Es más fácil recordarla que aisladamente. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Let us continue then because of the time. We need to. Okay, dokie. Right here, you are going to work in teams and you are going to have a uh, time in order that you can get some info about this. This is brainstorm example of square play hazard related to each of the categories in the chart. We have office uh, hazard, we have a uh, ha ha hazardous substance, but let me erase this number because, let me see how can I erase it. Ah, yes, it's correct, I can do it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, para los que no me comprenden, vamos a trabajar en cinco equipos. You are going to have time. Let me see the time that I got. Okay, and you are going to try to write at least three or four or four uh, different office hazard, for example. But I guess it's gonna be only just four groups. Four group is gonna be better. Only only office hazard, hazard substance, electric and fire, sleep trips and, and fall risk. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes or no? Tell me. Only a uh, three or four, three or four, no more than that, because of the time that we got. But if you can get five, it's gonna be better. How we are going to do it? Okay, let me let me see how many people do we have. I got the same number, and I need to get four teams only, just four teams. Okay, let me recreate it. My goodness, I'm going to have five in the following. Okay, five. Uh, okay, at least I need to have one. Uh, one for each. That means that. In every group, I need to have five different hazard, different categories, okay? Como tenemos casi cinco en cada uh, grupo, donde hay cinco, traten de al menos escribir cinco diferentes tipos de hazard. Okay, how I'm going to assign it? Como lo voy a asignar? Room one. Ana Beatriz, Ana Lilian, Elizabeth, Laura, and Saira Marleni. You are going to work in 
office hazard. Is that clear? Yes or no? Just tell me. Yes, yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Um, ah, okay, also I'm going to let you share your screen. Second one, Carlos Antonio Escobar, Claudia, Maria, and Misael, and Jenny. You are going to work on, let me see. It's gonna be hazardous substance. Okay. And number three is gonna be, let me see, who is it? Bautista, Diego, Jose Jonathan, Juan Carlos, and Maria Elena. You are going to work in electric and a fire hazard. And the last team, the last team is, let me see, who is it? Jose Galileo, Mayra Veralice, Wendy Maribel, and Yesenia Lissette. You are going to work in sleep, trips, and fall risk. Okay. Here we go, here we go. And try to, one of you is going to write down the, keep the record in order to show, to share here. Uno de todos, eh, vaya haciendo por favor ahí en una, en una paginita por favor de, de su ordenador para que lo muestre al final de, por grupos, okay? Here we go.
Ah, no, ¿cómo es? Ajá. I got you, I got you. Hands up. Okay. What about Maria? Maria is there working? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. We are close. We are close to finish. We are close to finish. Okay. Time is over. Time is over. I guess. Claudia, order is alcohol. Ah, yes, alcohol. Nos quitó las ideas de la cabeza, Ticho. Empezamos a inspirarnos. Well, we are going to show you just some ideas, some ideas about that. Don't worry about it. Okay. Team one, are you ready to show us what do you have? Team one, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, oh, show teacher. us what do you have, please. Laura, Misaida. Laura, oh, use the same as any workplace. Office need to have hazards, identify and reach assessments, carry goods in order to implement control issue to reduce the likelihood of a workplace incident occurring. Look for test common hazards in your office. Okay. Laura? Number one, poor or inadequate lighting, ergonomic hazard, extremes of temperature, manual handling hazard, a slick trick and foul hazard, electrical hazard, AEG applying power socket, ETC, contagious illness, illnesses spread by sick worker, fire hazard, chemical hazard, EG cleaning product and strict hazard. Yes. Finish teacher. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me tell you this. No, 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 no. Disappear. Okay, remember we got, uh, we have four ca categories. We have four categories. And right here you have uh, 10 ca categories. But uh, the main purpose is that you focus only in one. And then you can talk about, for example, what can happen in the office. If, and if that is your, your topic, right? And right here, you can say temperature, temperature. Temperature, temperature. The appliance, power, socket, air. Appliance. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, team two, please. Team number two. Remember that we've got four categories. The material show us only have four categories. Maybe you are going to find more, six, seven, or, or 10. But what I need is that you tell me that you give me some examples about the one that I assigned you. Okay, team two, who is it? Where are you? 
Número dos. Hurry up, hurry up. I know who it is. It's hazardous substance. But... Are you going to show us something? No? It's teacher. Here. It's teacher. Asher. Hello? Do you have this? You are going to you are going to my screen. Okay, share with us. Share with us, please. We want to see it. Okay. Oh, okay, you got there. Okay, tell us. Only yes, yeah, yeah, only yes, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Sleep okay. trip and fall hazards. Okay. Sleep trips and falls can happen in any workplace. And should be and should not be overlooked. They can cause minor injuries, broken bones, back injuries, cuts if the incident, head injuries, burns if the incident incident occurs near hard surface surfaces, or if the person is handling hot fluids, death in more serious cases. Preventing sleep trips and falls. The table below lists hazard associated with sleep trips and fall samples of risk control measures that the rig assessment team can take to minimize or eliminate the risk associated with the this hazard. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Next team, please. We are missing two. No faltan dos. I got the names. I got the names. Ah, okay. Say one name. I got the names. ¿Cuál era el tema del siguiente equipo, teacher? What about the second one? I got the list. I got the list here. And also the third one. Uh -huh. What's up? What's up? What happened? What happened? Se me perdieron, hey. los otros dos grupos se me perdieron, aunque yo tengo los nombres. Okay, sure. one more, one more, please, one more. Teacher. Sure. Hello, sir. For electricity and fire hazards, uh, I have three main ideas with my team. Electrical outlets can cause electrical shocks hazards. The second is overload electrical circuit can cause risk of, risk of fire hazards. Okay. And the third is damaged, damaged wires can cause electrical and fire hazards. Okay. Okay, thank you. We miss only one. Okay. We are going to leave it for tomorrow. They are going to have the chance to reorganize their ideas because they are not ready, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay, let me check out the tenants now.
Okay, hold on, hold on a little bit. I got it. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilia. Bautista. Present. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Galileo. Present, sir. Jose Jonathan. Present. Jose Rodrigo. It's not here, Rodrigo, it's not here, okay. Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Laura. Present, teacher. Ana Maria. Maria Elena. Present Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. No quiso elegir la víctima. Ok. Zaira. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. And Brian Javier. Okay. Thank you. Yesenia said if you want to ask me some question, you can stay at the end of the, of the session. Okay, thank you very much. I know that sometimes it's really hard, but don't forget to get your dictionaries and try to look the meaning of some words. And that way you are going to increase your vocabulary. As you see, uh, even in, in the material that you show me, you found the word likelihood. And lo que encontraron, ahí apareció esa palabra. Está relacionada con este tipo de temas. But I recommend you to make a list of new words and try to use it in a phrase or in a sentence. And that way you are going to increase your vocabulary. It is not just to learn a word and isolate weight. No, you need to connect with different words. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I hope to see you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bless you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. Good night. Claudia. Bye bye, Claudia. What Good happened, night. Claudia? Good night. <laughs> Good night. Okay, Claudia. Bye bye, Maria. Let me have present for the teacher. Good night. Maria Concepcion. Yes. Ah, okay. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.